speakers, so the speech evaluators of the evening. And can I first start with Toastmaster Sweet Links evaluator, Toastmaster Vinkit. Sweet Link, so your first speech, your journey so far. So from what I've had, what I've observed, I noticed that the first thing that I really enjoyed when you came forward and spoke was that you actually used visual aids, the bag of sweets, and you were able to link that to you, your name, Sweet Link. So that I found that as really memorable and something that will really get the attention of the audience. I've noticed that very few first-time speakers who are doing their CC once would use a visual aid. So that really s makes me feel that you really would go some do something that we don't expect, and I encourage that. The second thing I would I really enjoyed was that when you came up, you used the entire stage. You were walking here, you were walking there, and again, that really catches the audience's attention. You also use good hand gestures, so all this would help to get the audience to notice you. Because, I mean, who would really, no, no offense to the less experienced speakers, but who would want, who would really enjoy a speaker who just, sits, who just stands here and doesn't really move? You also used a lot of humor, like, for example, Sweet Tooth, and I'm famous for it. My heart was racing, and it just doesn't even happen when I see a really hot guy. So humor is another way to catch the audience's attention. And lastly, what I really enjoyed the most was when you came up to speak, you had a really strong sense of energy. That energy really made me feel that you really enjoyed to sp enjoyed speaking and the thing i noticed that you while the energy was quite high at the beginning that sort of dived down a bit the dip down a bit maybe so you maybe it's because of nervousness as since this is your first time speaking but that is something that can be improved no no problem another now moving forward another thing that i do notice that you seem to do is that you, as you give your speech, you tend to look upwards. So eye contact with the audience is really important as it, mil it builds that connection, just as humor and good hand gestures does. So moving forward, I hope that you would be able to use, to have good eye contact in your coming speeches. So to sum things up, I feel that you are confident it's just that the nervousness maybe that got to you a bit. And to, for overall, I feel that you, this was a really good speech and the audience was able to get to know you very well. So that's all from me. Back to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Vinkit. So moving on, can we have Toastmaster Sui Lin's evaluator, Toastmaster William? Journey writer and fellow Toastmaster. Today we were taken on an unforgettable trip. Story of a young lady providing comfort to the neurological conditioned girl, right? Um, we visited a high tech farm and also made new friends from all around the world. Such a wonderful story and I absolutely love it. Well done to you. Let me share my view on the accomplishment in your project number two. Number one, the thing I love most is your speech outline and transition. I really enjoy listening to your storytelling because your speech had a good chronology. From, neuro from the Neuro Job In Center, if I got it correctly, yeah, then to the countryside day, the visitations to the farm, to 30 seconds video making and explanations, and also uh, enjoy taking public transportations and also making new friends. So the essence of a good storytelling is that lies 
in the content. It's telling the content part by part, and you did it very well. Well done to you. And in terms of the project objective, you already done that too. Good. Number two, the second thing I love most about your speech is the clear message and also the simple words that you used along the speech. As your title has already mentioned, an unforgettable trip. Um, it actually packs very simple words, not too fancy words all around your speech. Um, not too difficult words for us or for the listeners to understand too. And again, this actually met your project objective. Well done on that. Now, if I may offer my humble suggestions to throw in different perspectives to raise the bar. Two, number one would be a catchy opening. Your speech started straight with your London visitation, um, your role in NeuroJob centers and so. I would suggest to throw in some story of how did you get into the trip in the first place. Example, um, it was a school exchange program. What was it? Yeah. So perhaps you can actually throw in some story, short story before that, that you actually heard there's a program from your school, from some, your school, yeah? Then you have been longing for that project for a long time. And because of that, in the end, I got that. And I actually got into London. Then, only that, go, go into your first point, which is the neuro job in center. And the second point will be eye contact. Um, most of the time, you were looking at upwards, most of the time. I would suggest you to have a look on your left, all right, on your right, and perhaps even at the front to your audience as well. So not only it actually helps to reduce contact in your next speech. Good job, well done. All the best in your Toastmaster journey. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much to all the evaluators. Can we give them another round of applause? Please? <laughs> so now we move on to the technical evaluation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That I'm not so sorry. <laughs> okay, we move on to the last evaluator of the evening for computer communicator. Uh, sorry, for Toastmaster Chen Yi Ying with Toastmaster Mas Mahade. Give him a round of applause. Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator. It is such an honor to be here again, <laughs> being forgotten by my very own sister. <laughs> okay, now Ethan has asked me to come on stage once again to Sunway University Toastmasters to provide my evaluation and immediately I thought, you know what, let's do it. I enjoy this club, I enjoy to see how people from this club wants to keep growing and they just keep trying and trying every week. So, Toastmaster Yi Ying. Now, I don't say this to a lot of speakers but you have what I call three C's. First of all, you're calm, you're composed and most of all, I believe everyone in this room would agree with me, you are very confident. Because the way you speak is very natural. I don't see that you are stuttering. I don't feel that you were trying to memorize a speech. It was natural. It was smooth. And I love that a lot. Now, certain areas of your body language also, you did fantastic at the start and as, uh, throughout the speeches as well. First thing, you use your fingers to illustrate a point. You said New Year's resolution, new plans, new days, what sheer laziness and some other stuff, you know, you add humor as well. So that was very, very good because to illustrate points, it is good that we use something so people can remember one, two, three, right? Now, imagine that I'm uh, your customer and you're a chef. I go into your restaurant and I ordered one dish, right? And I wanted to give you some recommendation to make this dish a little bit better the next time I come visit. So here's just my humble suggestions. First of all, I felt that your body was too rooted to one position. You were standing here and yes, your gestures were showing, yes, but you were rooted. So what you can uh, probably improve on is to re really use the space. You have this real big square around you. You walk a little bit to the left, walk a bit to the right, pause a little bit here and there, and you will do fantastic. The second one, body language. When you mention about vision is the why, you just said vision is the why. Probably you say vision is the why. Or another one, you said how big or how small. You say it like this, right? This doesn't really demonstrate the weight of 
the size, you can say how big and how small. So this can really illustrate better. Now, in your conclusion, I realize that you have a very good ending. You do. Except the facial expression could have been a little bit better because you said, I wish all of your dreams could be achieved in short or long term. You said it in a very monotonous way, which is fine because you haven't reached your vocal variety speech yet. But what you could do is at least add in the element of facial expression. Now, I wish that all of you could achieve your dreams, whether it's short or whether it's a long-term goal. So people will feel motivated by what you have to say in your conclusion. <clears throat> now, overall, I thought she did fantastic and I especially like one part. I don't know whether this is an accident or this is a uh, setup, you know, a prank or like something that she already planned to do. She did mention this. It makes life juicy. <laughs> 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 but I thought that was very well done. I thought that was well done. So I give you credit. Kudos to that. Okay? Now, in conclusion, I would say your conclusion was great. It's just that if you could add in the facial expression and also if you could just summarize all your three points into that conclusion, then people will be able to get what you are trying to say and remember it as an impact. Overall, I enjoyed your speech and I really hope to look forward to your next speeches. Back to you, Madam Chair. So do I have any more brothers that I missed out? <laughs> okay, before we move on to the technical evaluation, there is an